Oh, hello, friend. I didn't see you there. What a pleasant surprise. Okay, if you guys could see me and I had a shitting and grin on my face, that would have been hilarious and really good. Um, here's another video. It's going to be a short one. A really short one. This is my 3DO. Note how it's not the Panasonic 3DO. I have the Gold Star one. I saw this really nice, cool one with a cool finish on it and stuff, and I said, man, I don't want that one. I want the one that looks like a VCR. So that's what I did. I got the Gold Star one. And it came with a couple games, uh, one of which I actually traded away because I thought it was pure shit. Um, one of the games is, and most of the games were actually loose, uh, but one of the games is actually in my 3DO right now, so I'm not going to show it to you. I'll show you an empty case. Look at this. This is the empty case that I got the game in. Uh, but the game is Crash and Burn, and it's a racing game where you shoot uh, cars in front of you with various weapons and try to blow them up in order to kind of take over the race. Um, I guess I'm going into my games first, and I'll cover the system later, because I apparently skipped on that. Uh, here's another game I have, which is Nova Storm. And the interesting thing about this is it's, it's actually kind of... Uh, it's got a realistic looking background and then it's got a really cartoony looking spaceship. It's it's somewhat like a like a Star Fox but not nearly as good. Uh, but it's that kind of game. has a, a cool space feel to it. Uh, I'm not very good at it but I kind of enjoy it. Here's the game that I have that's probably the best of the bunch. Uh, I actually traded a game called Emercenary for this. And this one actually has, look at this, it has official stuff. It doesn't have those, uh, every, uh, well, I should say, everybody who collects for the 3DO probably does collect for the sake of getting those long boxes. 3DO games came in these gigantic, really not particularly uh, functional, uh, long cardboard boxes. And even though I'm not a cardboard guy, like I always like to mention, I might very well kind of dip my toe into that kind of collecting because it is the most interesting about interesting thing about the 3DO. Um, this is Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. It is a very playable port, very good. Um, I don't want to compare it to others. I think there's a lot of good ports of Street Fighter 2 Turbo or Street Fighter 2, uh, but this is certainly up there. It's, there's nothing wrong with this port. Uh, if you ever talk to people about the 3DO, uh, most of the people that own one will tell you the game to get is Road Rash. It's got probably the, the best port of Road Rash ever. I have played the Road Rash port because my friend Christian owns probably 60% of the 3DOs in the country. And it is excellent. It really is as good as everybody makes it out to be. It's a, it's a very solid port, much better than any other uh, uh, version of the game I've ever played. I've only really played the Genesis versions. Um, here's the controller. I should have probably shown you. It's a little bit different from the Panasonic one, but pretty similar. I find this one looks a little cheaper than the Panasonic one. Most most of the Gold Star stuff looks just a little bit off. But it's pretty standard controller. D-pad, three buttons, play a play or start button, and this which can be used as select or stop. Uh, this did play CDs. It came out in 93, so if you think about it, like the uh, Super Nintendo had just come out maybe a year and a half before. People think it's a piece of sh shit system, to be honest, and I think they're mistaken. I, re I really do. I don't think it's a great system. It was ridiculously overpriced. I think it came out and it was like $700 when it was new. Um, but there are definitely some playable games on it. Um, it's... It, it's really quite decent nowadays to collect for. Uh, most systems will cost you something in the range of, I'd say, 80 to $100. Games, there are some pretty cheap ones. Uh, but, you know, if you're going for the box games, then you're, you're going to be looking at more money. Um, I would say there's one game, the only uh, kind of legit RPG on the system that everybody wants is extremely rare. It's called Lucien's Quest, and it tends to go for a couple hundred bucks. It is on my list of games to get if I ever have that kind of money. I don't foresee that happening. But again, there's very playable games. Street Fighter 2, Turbo, anybody can play this game. Anybody who's ever had a, who played video games can probably play some Street Fighter 2 for a while. So that's the system. That's all I've got for it right now. 
I'm I do plan on collecting more for it. I I don't hate the system at all. I think it's got a half decent controller. It has um, I guess the one notable thing that it has is a uh, full full motion video uh, and sometimes terrible acting. If you can watch the opening to Mercenary, you'll see that. Uh, certainly Crash and Burn, which is currently in the 3DO, has these terrible driver intros. Um, that's all I'll say for this one. I'll keep this one nice and short. I already went way longer than I should have, so I'll talk to you guys later.